Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Ms. Whitehead Tambani and today we are going to learn about patterns. There are patterns everywhere. Patterns are in nature, on buildings, and even on our clothes. Let's play a guessing game. I'm going to show you some pictures that are different patterns. Each pattern belongs to something. You are going to guess what that picture is a part of. Okay, let's start. The first one we'll do together. What does this pattern belong to? A shell. See the part of the large shell that matches the other picture? Notice the different patterns on the rest of the shells. Let's try another one. This one is a little tricky. What does this pattern belong to? It's a hubcap for a tire on a car. That was hard. If you look real close, you can see that the tire also has a pattern. This one may be a little easier. What does this pattern belong to? A watermelon. Notice that every watermelon has a pattern, but each one is a little different. I love watermelon, do you? This one is a little hard. What does this pattern belong to? I'll give you a clue. It's something that is tall. It's a skyscraper. There are many patterns on this skyscraper. See if you can find other patterns in this picture. This pattern has many colors. What does this pattern belong to? It's a hot air balloon. There are so many beautiful colors. Hot air balloons have many different patterns. I have a feeling everyone will know this one. What does this pattern belong to? It's a zebra. Notice how some of the stripes are thick and some are thin. Three zebras drinking water. You have been doing a great job looking at the details and figuring out the objects. What does this pattern belong to? It's a cheetah. Did you see how the zebra had a stripe pattern and the cheetah pattern has its spots? I think he heard me talking about him. What does this pattern belong to? It's a gorgeous tiger in the water. Notice the different patterns on the tiger. A tiger with stripes. What does this pattern belong to? This is the last one in our game. A Dalmatian dog. Have you ever seen a Dalmatian dog? I think he sees a squirrel. Now I want to share with you some patterns I made with things I found at my playground. I found twigs, 
leaves, and wood chips. I decided to use only the two things for my first pattern. I made twig, twig, leaf, twig, twig, leaf, twig, twig. What will come next in my pattern? Right, a leaf. How did you know? If you look at what is in the box I made, you will see twig, twig, leaf. This is the core of the pattern, and the core is the part of the pattern that keeps getting repeated. So we had twig, twig, leaf, then twig, twig, leaf, then twig, twig, and the leaf comes next. This time, I'm going to use twig, leaves, and the wood chips. Twig, twig, leaf, wood chip. Twig, twig, leaf, wood chip. Twig. What comes next? Remember to look at the core of the pattern because that will give you a clue to what comes next. Yes, the twig comes next. The core of the pattern is twig, twig, leaf, wood chip. So what comes next is the twig. Try to find patterns around your house or neighborhood. You can f even find objects so you can make your own patterns. In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned about patterns. Try to find and make patterns at home today with your family. I'm Ms. Whitehead Timbani. I hope you have a great day and keep on counting. <music>